Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to make more specifically keyboard macros. I already made a video on this about just macros in general, but I got a comment asking for more specifically keyboard macros, so I'm going to do that. First, I got this cheat sheet pulled up for PY Auto GUI, and to get started I can just go to my website, which is not actually mine, it's YouTube's. And go over to videos right here, go on to how to make a macro in Linux. So I've got my pause the ad, show more, and then I can do macro template. Click this, I can click download, it'll download it for you, but I don't need this because I already downloaded it ahead of time. Then you pull up your PyCharm, and here you go. I just opened it in PyCharm ahead of time. Right here we can see our import functions. I don't know why this is grayed out. I guess we didn't use it here, but now since we're going to be using doing just keyboard, we can just remove all of the mouse. So let's remove the mouse listeners, and we don't need to do this on mouse. And then we don't need to import the mouse listener either. I still don't know why this is grayed out. I'm pretty sure there was a problem last time that we needed it for. Oh yeah, for we needed that so that we could press a button. So, now we have on press and on release. So for this specific example, we want to open a file explorer and YouTube with uh, on press. We don't really need this on release here. So I'm just going to remove that. You probably won't need on release for if you're making a simple macro, but if you do, you can leave that there. It's pretty simple to code in. Now we have when key is pressed, print the key is pressed. So we can go ahead and run this really fast and macro, but since this is two words, you have to put it in quotes, a cool little trick, macro template dot py on release is not defined I see I gotta remove this I made the same mistake last time let's just do a random one like uh, semicolon now you may want to use more than just a semicolon and I'll go over that you may want to use a control or shift a sort of hotkey on press key, we want it to move down here, open files, and then go to some project directory, probably in documents. But we could do that with traditional PY Auto GUI like we did last time. But I already showed you guys how to do the PY Auto GUI stuff. So today, we're going to be taking a little bit of different approach, a more efficient approach. And instead of moving our mouse over there, which is a little slower than this, we can actually do os.system and then run the command that we want to run. So first I have to import os, which is a built-in library, so you don't need to install it. And then let's run uh, xdg open um, slash documents. There you go. And let's see what happens. It opens it when I press a key. So now that we have the OS system XDG open documents, now we gotta make sure that we check what key is being pressed. So I have it pulled up right here. That would be keyboard, key code, and then character key. So if key equals equals, I'll just paste this in. And we can change A to semicolon, since that's what we will be using in this example. And then I'll just indent this into that if statement. So now, if we run this, it should, when I click all this, it doesn't work. When I click semicolon, it opens this up. So now we can do that with that. Let me just cancel out of there. But we also want to open up YouTube for those video tutorials. So 
along with XTG open, I'm pretty sure you can do os.system and then just do the same thing, XTG open, except then the URL. So I think you would just do it like this. Oops. I think you would just do that and let's see if that works. And there we go, it opened youtube.com and documents. Perfect. But let's say you don't want it to be a key, like you don't want this to be a single key, which is logical. I don't know why you would want it to be a single key, then you can't click that key at all. So instead, we want it to be a hotkey. So right here, I actually have straight out of the documentation. I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. And this is basically, uh, instead of this, I think. So, maybe not, I don't know. We're just going to keep it like this. And act on activate H, let's make that on press. And let's remove this deactivate or activate I. And then we got this, and instead of H, let's make this control alt uh, semicolon. And let's just make it control semicolon. That should work for control semicolon. And instead of as H, let's just make this as hotkey. So then we have hotkey.join. So now we have hotkey.join here, and we have this whole hotkey that should be configured. And let's just uh, remove this from here. And now let's just... Now let me press any key, and I expected this would happen. Now let's try it. Doesn't do that, but if I press control semicolon... All right, we shouldn't have this key here. Okay, now, now let's try it. It doesn't when I click control semicolon. So, not when I click the other keys. So, let me just uh, do a quick refresher. You have uh, this right here. You got this part right here, and you can have this, like this. Oops. Like, so you got it like this. That should be good if you want to have one. If you want to have one key there, but if you uh, do this and comment that out, and then comment this out instead, then you can have it so that you can make a hot key by just putting in this right here. So I'm gonna quickly make a template, but that's how you do it. I hope this helps everybody else that was wondering how to do that. This is how you detect a key, that was very hard. I didn't know that I forgot to explain that in the last video, but this is how you detect when a key is pressed, and this is how you make a hot key. Thank you for suggesting that video, I didn't know I left so much out last time, and if you ever have any more questions for anyone watching, make sure you leave a comment on the video or join my Discord, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks. Before I go, I want to really quickly show you this template that I made. Uh... First we import the modules that we used, then it's configure a single key, and you're supposed to uncomment one of these depending on if you want to do a special key or an ordinary slash character key. Uh, then by default it will open my YouTube channel and open your home directory, and it has this here. So whether you want to make a hot key or a single key, you can just delete the whole other section. Then for the hot key, it's on activate, open my YouTube channel and your home folder. And this hotkey is keys for hockey. You have to change that, and you also change this stuff. I left that to fill in. I have an example down here to reference if you are having trouble filling it out. So I just want to share that with you. I'll link this in the description. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next Python coding or Minecraft video. Bye!